just wanted to try to make a quicker version of the exorcism testimony. I still have like the full version on my uh, channel. If you go back like three years ago or so on my channel, um, but basically, um, I just got out of like a very toxic relationship prior, and um, like like a year and a half of just like constant mental abuse. Uh, it, like you know the whole you know you're just stupid that that whole thing basically it made me feel like a less than person abuse cheating on all that stuff all that happened and after that I just decided I was an atheist at the time basically an agnostic maybe something like that I just decided you know I don't care anymore and so I just like had like a string of like sin that I was like like deep diving into and that's basically how well I was a drug dealer too at the time and um girls liked me probably because of that um and you know I, I think I'm a pretty good looking guy too but I think a lot of it could have been the drugs I don't know um but basically um yeah, I, I just, like, I met the Satanists, and, uh, I just, I thought, you know, something's not right here, um, but, uh, I'm not gonna be giving all the details, um, there's more details in the full video, I'm just trying to make a quick version, um, basically, like, the whole thing, like, inverted pentagram stuff all over their, um, social media, all this, like, demonic stuff that's, like, okay, and all the music was, like, Suicide Boys, clearly demonized, demon-possessed rappers, it's obvious, it's very obvious, you listen to their music, it changes the entire, uh, atmosphere of a room, it makes it dark, and, like, stuff like that, um, I was just hearing you know, just a bunch of stuff like that, um, a bunch of dark music like that. Even I even heard some Grateful Dead song that was, like, so creepy. I was in the middle of a trip, and I'm like, this is, like, the most evil song I've ever heard. And I didn't, I didn't really think they made music like that, but apparently they do. Um, and uh, it wasn't something I would have picked to listen to. But anyways, basically... Um, full details was in the other video three years back, but it was like one week um, we decided to take shrooms together, and uh, this song came on called uh, Afterlife. Uh, it, was, it was a song that I like. It's by Elenium. They make a lot of good music. Um, the song is like, in the afterlife, tell me we'll be fine. In the afterlife, tell me we'll be fine. And as those lyrics go, the door to my room slams loud on its own. I sit up freaking out. She just looks at me like, yeah, that happens sometimes. I'm like, no, that does not happen sometimes. I've been tripping for a long time. That does not happen to me. Um, that has never happened to me. I've had other things happen, but not that. Um, and so... I, something was odd, obviously, um, wasn't really sure what it was, um, um, but my grandpa ends up taking me to breakfast, and, uh, this is, like, maybe a week after, or something like that, um, and, uh, he says, you know, I want you to believe in Jesus, and I said, you know, I want to, but I can't. So my heart changed. Something changed in me because I was like militant atheist, you know. I made a Facebook page called Jesus is a Myth, all this stuff. But something changed in my heart because I realized with the sin I was in, I regretted a lot of the things I did in that string of, uh, of sin in which I was rebelling after the hurt from my previous girlfriend. Because I realized, like, you can't start a relationship off in lust. It's like, it's a terrible decision because you're going to end up hurting each other 
one person doesn't get the the memo that you actually were interested in dating them it was you know it's just like painful it's not meant to be like that you're supposed to you're supposed to get married before any of that stuff that's the truth um and i know that now but i was an atheist and like i was like a grown-up kid basically um like i was like a late late uh bloomer i guess me this note card and, and it, it had like the Jeremiah verse like I know the plans I have for you plans for like hope and a brighter future and uh, to those who believe in him he gave the right to become sons of God children of God you know and so I was I kept that in my wallet strangely enough as an atheist agnostic I kept it in my wallet um, and I, I was like told at one point to look into this book of poetry uh, by this guy from the doors and in it she had wrote I sold my soul to find out what I already knew and I was like what? what does this even mean? so I, I was being like kind of cold like I didn't, I didn't really know how to respond after seeing that so I'm just like cleaning my room and ignoring her and stuff um, and uh Eventually I ask, you know, what is that about? And she's like, oh, I was just being edgy. I wrote that a long time ago. I'm like, oh, okay. Um, and again, like her, her social media even said, like, if you scroll from the bottom up, you can see me die. And you like, you saw a smile on her face, but then you saw it turn to not a smile. And she was taking pictures with her eyes rolling behind her head, all this stuff. And, uh, demonic. Uh, not normal behavior, um, and, uh, basically, I, um, that night, we decided to take, like, tiny amounts of LSD, like, it was, like, a half hit, it was, like, nothing, and, like, it basically just made you, like, uh, stimulated, like, you know, like, you can't fall asleep, that's basically what it did to me, anyways, but she started freaking out. Um, she was saying, red, red, bad memories, red. Because um, I had, like, red LED lights going up my, my room. She freaks out. She goes to jump out my window. I have to stop her, grab her by the waist, pull her down. She turns to me. Her eyes are, like, black. She says, I'm going to call the cops and say that you beat me. I felt this dark energy. I knew that was not her speaking. Um, I, was, I was sure of it. So I called out to God from my window and she hit the floor like something hit her and so I knew something wasn't right obviously but I was you know glad that God responded or something um and uh I started singing this song Mother by Pink Floyd because I kind of started to believe like this mother goddess thing because I had these weird interactions on psychedelics and stuff um But I sang the song, and she got, like, this creepy, wicked smile, and, uh, I knew something wasn't right, so then I called out to Jesus, and all of a sudden she was seizing, her eyes rolling behind her head, she was cursing his name, um, saying six, 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 like, on repeat, and, uh, F Jesus, all that stuff, um, she started lying, like, a natural language, too. Um, like, it was, like, it rolled, like, the lies were just, like, it was, like, that. And we see it. We see it here. We see the same people come onto my profile, and, like, they try to pretend they're someone they're not. They try, I mean, they, they lie. It's, it's just, like, it's natural to them. They're, like, Satan's children right now, at least. Um, until they decide to you know, come to this side, ha having known the full playbook of Satan, then he's going to attack them, and they're going to know what it's like to be me. Um, but God protects you once you understand that. Um, so yeah, they, like, she said things like, I know Jesus, but who are you? And I was like, what? This is my girlfriend, why is she saying this to me? Um, and, like, I asked, well, can't you just ask for forgiveness? Like, I was, like, talking to the demon. Because there was, like, a 
difference in voice. Like, like the, the other voice was saying, please, uh, I, I mean, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'll just kill myself, I'm sorry. But the demon's just, like, blaspheming, lying, trying to get it in my head. You know, you could have both of us that saying stuff like that, like... saying things like, oh, it's out, it's out, but her eyes were still rolling behind her head, um, and, uh, she was saying things previously, too, before this even happened, she was saying really off-the-wall things, like, I heard that people who take DMT can't go to heaven, I'm like, I was an atheist agnostic, and she was saying these things, I was like, what? What are you talking about? Um, heaven? I <laughs> and, uh, also, she said things like, yeah, I brought something to my dad's house. Like, she was acting like, like she brought, like, some spirit, spirit to her dad's house or something. And I was like, what? Just not really understanding what she's saying. Um, and after this, she was talking about, like, getting marks in her sleep and stuff. Um, which is, you know, if you've heard of people who have been demonized, they get stuff in their sleep. But also, she did probably, she had marks from me, too, because I had to hold her down to keep her from jumping out the window. Um, or, like, running out into the street in a very vulnerable condition because of what was going on. I'm not going to explain the full details of that, but it was uh, not something you'd want to run out in the winter, like... So, like, obviously the demon couldn't ask for forgiveness, wanted to, I mean, it, it, I don't think it could want to, I don't know, I don't know the full situation, but it, it said it didn't work, and, you know, you look at the book of Enoch, they can't raise their eyes to heaven, basically, they can't, um, God ignores them, because they're unforgiven, um, damned, um, and, uh, they want to convince the person who has them that they are, too, like, you know, you sold your soul, you know, you're forever damned. That's not true. That's a lie. I've heard of people who have sold their soul but have found Jesus. It's just, like, a, it's a bigger fight. you got to give up everything. And if you're not willing to give up everything, then maybe you're going to hell. I mean, if that's what you want, go ahead. Um, it's up to you. If, that's, if your life now is more valuable than forever, um, I'd say your perspective is off, but, yeah. And uh, after this... Um, there was like, a, there was like a string of crazy things, like, but eventually I end up back in my house, and, uh, um, after quitting the drugs, after, like, a stint in the psych ward, because the cops didn't believe anything I was saying, even after showing them all the pictures, they didn't believe anything I was saying, I sounded cra like a crazy man trying to do an exorcism outside her house, they called the cops on me, um, you know, what do you expect, though, I, I, I was traumatized, um, I was trying to help. I was trying to help. That was my my uh, mindset to help get that thing out. And um, so basically, and then I found the book in the psych ward about the personal relationship with Jesus. So I know I was supposed to be there. I'm sure of it. And people there believed me. Interestingly enough, so maybe they had to hear the story. Um, and uh, yeah, when I got home, eventually. Um, I I was getting, like, witchcraft attacks and stuff, or something, or it was, like, the spirits that I, I... I would assume witchcraft attacks. I have to assume that. Like, like maybe their whole family was attacking me with stuff. Um, it's possible it was spirits that I had attached to me from drugs and stuff, but I'm leaning towards witchcraft attacks, because they knew I knew too much, so they, they wanted to, like, kill me or silence me or something, which is what they do now. They try to silence me. You can't speak about this. I don't even know how to hear about me posting these videos. They're stalking me. Um, they say I'm stalking them when I am responding to what God tells me to do. But they have to be stalking me consistently in order to find me upload a new video. And then wait and then find another new video. I'll, like, do something once every... whenever God tells me to. But they're monitoring me. This, they're going to respond to this video because the spirits are going to alert them. Satan's kingdom, but basically I was under witchcraft attack, um, the, there was crazy winds outside my house, uh, at nighttime, 
Um, I had this video pop up on my YouTube, so I'd be careful when you look into the abyss because you might not come back. And I'm like, yeah, something's not right here. Um, eventually, I I read, like this happened for a month, power going off and on in my house for a month. My mom knew it was going on. So don't think that my family doesn't believe me. They do. Um, and uh, so basically, like, I read in the book of Mark about Jesus calming the storm. And as soon as I believed that, the witchcraft attack stopped. And basically, that's the same situation I'm in now. They try to do stuff to me, but it fails. They try. You know, they could send me to the psych ward, maybe, but it ultimately fails. Um, they can gaslight me, but ultimately they fail. Um, and it bothers them that they can't control me, because, like, everything in their, their soul, they have to do the same bidding, because they're, they're whipped. They're, like, that's their... That's their god. They have to do what he says because they're whipped. They can't, they're under control, they're in chains. Which is again why, like, in that video I show, like, there's, there's like a picture of chains in the demonic oppression evidence video. Like, I, that's another three year old video where it shows the pictures that were drawn and stuff like that and shared. Just to indicate that, yeah, something was going on. It's obvious something was going on. And we know that. They're, the same way that they do, like, the pictures, like, covering one eye, you know, all that stuff. The, the okay sign with the, with the fingers, the 666. We know about that. Those of us, us with the sermon, we know all about that stuff. A call for an uprising, he brought, like, he brought that to my attention. And I was like, oh, yeah, I knew something wasn't right. Why would, yeah, I knew something wasn't right here. So a lot of people are in on this, but... The world is just taking her into it somehow, even though it's out there in plain sight. Freemasons, Eastern Star, um, all all the secret covens that are going all over the world. We know about it. We've got people coming out of them, talking about them, exposing them, exposing the things that goes on in them. And all the people who expose it have uh, backlash because the kingdom of darkness knows they know the playbook. I know the playbook. At least to a, a good extent. I don't know as much as maybe one of them coming out of it do, but I know quite a bit. Um, and they, that's why they hate me um, and try to silence me. Um, but yeah, this, you know, God bless you all. Um, ready to see the comments from the, the trolls and Satanists. Um, but this is the truth. And they know it's the truth. That's why they have to silence it. Um, repent or perish. I've got good videos. My last one with One Piece was good. Check it out. You don't want to go to hell.